big story a day after the Gurdaspur attacks. The three terrorists uh, picked up by a first security camera. This was placed at the Taragar uh, intersection. This was just before they entered the town of Dinanagar. The footage, as we said, shows the three men wearing army fatigues, walking down the road at 4.55 a.m., AK-47 rifles in their hand. Remember, it was just minutes after this that they tried unsuccessfully to snatch a tempo from its driver. They killed a dhaba owner in the process. Next, they opened fire on a bus injuring six passengers. A man who was heading to buy vegetables in his Maruti became their next target. He was injured in the shoulder and that's when they snatched his Maruti from him and that became their getaway car. Now let's play the second uh, CCTV footage for you. And this was from a camera that is placed right outside the Dinanagar police station, placed across the road, in fact, from that police station. It actually shows uh, the terrorists having driven up in that white uh, Maruti that they snatched. This is around 5.18 in the morning. Now, cut to about uh, 10 minutes or 11 minutes later, and you can actually see people running for cover. And presumably, this was when the terrorists had already begun firing indiscriminately. Both videos, as we are saying now, could provide vital clues to investigators who are trying to piece together the sequence of events and a final timeline of just how those events played out, the events that we've been trying to recreate for you. So these visuals now coming to us, as we said, from two separate CCTV cameras. The people you see in the second video, however, seem to be not the terrorists who were in army fatigues, as we've been pointing out, but bystanders, civilians, who were probably trying to escape from them. This on a day when uh, GPS data from uh, devices used by the terrorists have also indicated that uh, that police station was their predetermined target. They, that, that location had been fed into GPS devices. And uh, Tonima Biswas now joining us from uh, Gurdaspur. Tonima, what more do we know at this point about how far investigations have progressed and how are these videos going to help? That's right. In fact, what we are hearing from our sources in the police is that the terrorists had taken extreme precautions in making sure that they remove all trace and evidence from uh, in any way that they were not carrying much evidence on their person as well. They have, in fact, apparently, according to our sources, removed um, the signs, the make, and, uh, the make of the ordnance factory, which usually is there on the revolver or on the arm, which is 